In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own SDI video cables. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. I've been helping a number of churches with the design or upgrade of their video system for live streaming recently. And one of the barriers I run into working remotely with people is having them make their own SDI cables. So I wanted to make a video to show you how to make your own cables. As you build out a video system, there's a lot of advantages to using SDI instead of HDMI. You can send SDI cables over longer distances. HDMI really is only designed for 15 feet or less, so anything beyond that is going to involve some sort of gimmick. I also prefer the locking BNC connectors. So I usually design a video system around using as much SDI cabling over HDMI as possible. And there are some big advantages to being able to make your own cables. First, you can make any length you need for your system, from super short to really long. You don't just have to buy whatever the next standard size up is and deal with the extra length. Also, when you're installing cable and running it through ceilings or walls, it's a lot easier to pull cable without connectors on them. You don't have to worry about damaging the connector or fitting it through a small opening. Then when you're installing your video system, you'll never get stuck because you forgot a cable and have to go order it. You just make it. And finally, it makes maintenance on your video system a lot easier. If a cable breaks, make a new one. And also, usually when a cable fails, it's near the connector that it breaks. So just put a new one on and you're back up and running. To make your own cables, besides the raw cable and connectors, you're gonna need to have a few specialty tools. I have a large heavy duty wire cutter to cut the cable to length, a wire stripper that's gonna strip the covering in the right places and at the right depths, and then finally the crimp tool that's gonna make the connector. There are links down in the description of this video to all of these tools, as well as to the cable and connectors that I use. It's an investment up front, but I think it easily pays for itself over time to have these tools on hand. There are different kinds of connectors that go together differently, and also there's different kinds of styles of crimp tools. So if you use the connectors and tools that I have linked below, you'll know that they'll work together. The first thing you're gonna need to do is get your wire strippers set up properly for the cable size. You adjust these screws, which move the cutting blades in and out to create a cut that should look like this. The center conductor fully exposed, a section of the inside insulation without the braid, and then a section of the braid. Keep adjusting it until you get it set up where it comes out nice and clean like this. It's really worth it to put the effort in and use up some cable to get this nice and clean. Once you have that working, take the bare end of your cable and put the sleeve over it. Then strip your cable. It's just easier to get the sleeve over before you have the braid exposed. Now take the pin and put it on the end of the center conductor. Then using your crimp tool, crimp the pin to the center conductor. Finally, take the connector and slide it onto the cable, making sure to get the pin through the hole in the center and have this back part of the connector slide under the braid. Now slide the sleeve up over the end and crimp the sleeve down. Do the same thing on the other end and that's it. You've made your own SDI video cable. I will say that these King's connectors are not the most sturdy. If you give the cable a hard pull while the connector is connected to something, it's probably gonna pull out. I'm still searching for something that's a bit more robust, but for most applications and with a little care, your cables will last a long time. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up for me and be sure and subscribe to my channel for more of my videos. I've got some exciting things coming that I can't wait to share with you. Until next time, bye.